Hello, my loves. I am Dr. Emma Nagy, and this is the My Light Away podcast. This is the ultimate self-development podcast where we'll dive deep into all things motherhood, mindset, and manifestation to create a life you are in love with. So let's dive in and get ready to expand the ripple effect you have in this world. I don't think I have been this excited for an episode before. Today we're going to talk about enjoying the newborn stage and specifically we're going to get into how to enjoy the newborn stage. So you're ready for this because I am excited. So I made this episode for you if you're pregnant, okay? So you guys know I'm so huge on preparing yourself for motherhood, getting in the zone and like making the most out of pregnancy, right? Because pregnancy is this amazing time of growing, nurturing our babies and also just preparing ourselves for this huge huge shift and it's ideal if you're a first-time mom listening to this because I feel like if you're listening to this as a first-time mother you are so ahead of the game because typically first-time mothers prepare by learning about baby right and maybe like envisioning what you want things to look like for you finding the best supports around you to help you along each stage you know, each part of the way, really. And I just think you're setting yourself up for your success in motherhood if you're just like taking some moments along the way, along pregnancy to intentionally um, tap into, well, A, the kind of pregnancy you're wanting to have and enjoying it as much as possible and allowing yourself to grow through some of the challenges and the more difficult moments too. But if you're looking towards the future and setting yourself up for success by putting some things in place now, I feel like that is just like a really beautiful gift to give yourself as a mother and also just an incredible skill to have really to allow it to be a little bit more easeful on yourself. I'm so excited about this particular episode, which I think also can benefit you if you have had a baby before and you're going to be going through the newborn stage again. I know so many women, especially if you don't have a great experience or have a really difficult experience the first time around, there are certain things that you're probably wanting to equip yourself with, set yourself up with so that you can enjoy it a little bit more this time around. Um, Maybe get some of the moments back that you wish you could have had more of and I so respect you for taking taking this space for yourself and tuning in to what you would love this experience to be like and if you haven't had a good experience in the past maybe there's some hesitation there around if it's really possible for you to enjoy this time And I am here to tell you that there is so much hope to find so many moments, so many amazing moments in the newborn period. And whether you're a first time mom or not, I feel like this episode can be that glimmer of hope for you. So I want to talk to the first time mom for a bit. So if this is you, I am speaking to you here because this is all new, right? And when you think about the newborn stage, you probably have the intention, whether you've, you know, explicitly thought about it or not, but I bet you would love to enjoy it as much as possible. And chances are, you know, you've had some horror stories around the newborn stage. Um, people may have told you how difficult it is, how Um, and maybe these are some things you've started thinking about, right? Like as long as well as all like the baby prep stuff you're doing and also just learning and navigating your changing body and what pregnancy requires of you, right? Chances are you're also thinking ahead a little bit here and there around what the newborn stage is going to bring up. And you might be wondering, you know, like, what's that going to feel like? What is it going to be like for me? Like maybe what challenges 
tend to come up in these stages and how can I start to just put some plans in place, right, to make that time feel a little bit easier and just also just to be coming from that more aware place of like, what are the things to expect and how can I set myself up for success? You might hear less around how to enjoy the newborn stage, right? Beyond like, oh, just enjoy every moment and enjoy all the cuddles, like those kinds of blanket statements, right? Um, and there are so many, there are so many amazing things from the newborn stage that you can experience and learn from. And my hope for you is that the newborn stage isn't just like something to get through that's like this dark cloud, but it's something to thrive through it and to get like the beauty and the lessons from this really unique point in time because really that's what it is. It is this complete new phase of our life that is just unlike anything we've ever experienced before. And how the heck are you supposed to prepare for that, right? And one of the ways that you can prepare is by just having a better idea of what that time can be like. And I guess set some intentions too for how you want to feel, right? And if you want to enjoy it, this episode is all for you because I'm going to get, I'm going to give you some tangibles and some glimmers inside what enjoying the newborn stage can look like. And if you haven't heard many of examples of this in your sort of day-to-day life of people enjoying this stage and what that actually means, then it's kind of can be hard to grasp, right? Sometimes it's like, okay, I have this intention, but how can I anchor in this vision more solidly so that I actually enjoy it? And oh, speaking of vision, before I forget, I have a guidebook that is completely free that you guys can download. I'll link it in the show notes and it's around envisioning your empowered motherhood. So I'll give you examples today of what enjoying the newborn stage can look like. But of course, you get to make up for you what enjoying the new motherhood stage looks like for you, right? And so this guidebook helps you do that. And it actually includes some really powerful self-reflection prompts that get you to tap in during pregnancy to get clearer on your vision for what that is. Get onto paper, get that conscious mind on board, get your subconscious going because your subconscious doesn't know the difference between real or imagined, right? So if you get things clear and on paper, you're going to set the manifestation ball rolling to actually experience this in your life. So click that link in the download after this episode. It's completely free and set some side, set some time aside a few minutes to tap into your exact vision. So I'm going to give you some examples of what feeling really good in the newborn stage can look like, okay? Because we think of it as, or maybe, tell me how you think of it, actually. I'm so curious, like, what what stories you've heard, what kind of, what image you have of the newborn stage. We hear about, you know, the tiredness, right? Like, our sleep completely changes, right? And chances are we're waking up, whether our baby wakes us up or whether we're waking up and uh, potentially even waking up our baby, depending on the baby, right? To uh, eat, maybe you have the intention of establishing breastfeeding early on. And so um, you're up regularly in the night and feeding your baby. And then throughout the day, same thing, so much of your time and your focus is going towards baby, right? And regardless of how you give birth, there is also healing and recovery to do from that, right? So I feel like we think about that aspect of things when we think of the newborn stage. Um, We also, obviously, this is the most obvious one, but we're like so excited to meet the newest little loves of our life, right? Like, 
this is what this is all about. It's this moment that we have been waiting for where we get to connect with, nurture our babies, give them all the love. Like, of course, that is like a huge emphasis of the newborn period as as well, right? And yeah, just like learning all about them, learning about them, learning how to take care of them. And then we're also figuring ourselves out in our new role. And these are some things that moms are often kind of I guess like surprised to think or feel um, is around their role specifically because of course when you're pregnant you know your role has already changed you're already a mom by being pregnant right and so you don't really think or maybe you do like maybe you're um, maybe you have thought more about this but many moms don't really think about the shift in identity and what that kind of leads to in their day-to-day life. And at the beginning, especially, I find many moms are kind of surprised by the impact that having less freedom than they used to has on their day-to-day and their mental health um, and also on their mindset. Because, you know, up until now, it's been you like maybe you have a partner that you know your supports for each other but really your time has pretty much been your own like maybe you have a job maybe you own a business you know there might be other responsibilities in your life that you take care of but it's different than a baby right and so that's something that sometimes hits moms by surprise is like that shift so that's just something to just be aware of that you might experience like thoughts around this shift in identity. It might seem overwhelming. You might be like, oh my gosh, that just hit me in a way that I didn't expect. And I am kind of like grieving the loss of my freedom. And when the heck is it going to change or get better? Is this just how it's going to be for the next 18 years, right? Something I'm super passionate about because this is like a common thing that can come up for new moms is anchoring in your self connection now, envisioning your role as a mom now, envisioning your place and how you're going to take amazing care of yourself and the freedom you will still get, and also just creating, I guess, realistic and grounded expectations for how this time can look and know that it is this temporary time know that it's this unique point in time and even if it feels like it's going to last forever in the moment it won't okay so I am giving you the heads up that so many of us don't have so many mums are like am I'm I was blindsided by this kind of aspect of things like I didn't even think about that you know I thought about the sleep I thought about the healing the physical healing I thought about the emotional mental mood side of things um because you know, that's another piece. So many of us think about the emotions of postpartum, right? And many of us fear them, um, partly because we know that postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety rates are kind of at an all-time high. Not kind of, they are. Um, it is a real issue right now where mom's mental health are really, is really taking a toll, Many moms, I feel like, are wanting to be proactive in pregnancy, to take really take good care of their mental health, allowing the supports now. And if you haven't, I would so encourage you to do this because, you know, get a counselor, get um, a therapist if you don't have one already, and just have someone that you can meet with regularly at key points to help you. And so I'm not a licensed healthcare professional. My expertise is in mental health promotion, but from my, how I approach things is I help you boost your mental health wherever you are, right? So um, not from like a counseling side, more from a mentorship coaching side and giving you the mindset tools and the strategies that you can empower yourself with and boost your mood and energy in pregnancy so that you're at this place where hopefully you feel 
so empowered and equipped to navigate the emotions. And something actually that I help mothers with in the My Lighter Motherhood course and to really just anchor this in in pregnancy is to get super comfortable, to get more comfortable, let's say that, because I feel like we can all always go a bit deeper to get more comfortable with the emotions because that is something in the newborn stage that really does come at a new level. And although you know, you can't prepare in terms of knowing how things are going to feel. You can prepare in terms of knowing kind of what to probably expect. And feeling a whole new level of emotions is something that you can expect. So I feel like if you just know about this, you're setting yourself up to enjoy the newborn stage more, especially if you feel confident when the waves of emotions come if you feel empowered to actually not resist them, but to allow them, that is what I love to help mums with because the more you just allow those feelings, right? And use your discernment so that you're not just like spiraling into something, right? You're not spiraling and growing them to the point that you can't control, but you are equipped with the skills to be able to navigate these emotions in a way that feel like healthy and and as though you are the one in control. So let me just like paint this like specific picture for you, okay? Because I feel like this is a really good tangible that you can even keep in mind in the newborn stage. So imagine you are like, three or four days postpartum and your milk comes in okay and around this time I find there's like a peak in the level of emotions that mums tend to experience our hormones are doing all sorts of things you know our bodies have just given birth our milk is coming in um you know all the excitement and anticipation around baby and they're finally here And there's just so much happening in our brains and our bodies and our energy and everything around this specific time. So picture this. You are in this time where you know that emotions tend to be heightened. So already you're at this place of advantage because you knew to expect this. You are not blindsided that it's happening. You're like, okay, it's here. Like this is what I feel coming and you are so connected to your body you're so connected to your mind you're so self-aware even on this day when maybe you've barely slept yet maybe you're physically sore right probably you will be (laughs) um but when the emotions come even in that vulnerable state you think bring it on. Bring it on because I'm just going to let these emotions come. I'm going to let them flow through. I'm not afraid of them and I'm actually welcoming them because I know that these feelings are expanding my capacity to feel. I'm getting ready. I'm experiencing the deepest love that I've ever felt before for my baby and I am making room on all ends of the spectrum just for my capacity to feel and I am looking at this as a growth opportunity. So I'm not afraid of the emotions. I'm welcoming in all of it because I know that I can handle it And I actually want to feel and feel deeper love. That is the kind of vibe that I want for you postpartum. And I say postpartum, I mean in the newborn stage, right? That's what I mean. Because postpartum means the time after your baby's born. So when I say that word as a standalone like that, that's what I mean. I want that to be your vibe for the moments in the newborn stage where you you feel more than you ever have. 
okay? And what that allows you to do and what you'll find is the emotions move through you so quickly and you just get to the other side of them. You're not stuck in them. You are not trapped in that feeling and you have enough self-awareness that no matter what, even if, you know, certain things are at a level that you're not comfortable with or you sense it going that way, you reach out for the supports around you and you allow that support in. But you will be able to discern this for yourself, right? And if this is resonating with you and you're like, you know what? I am up for allowing even the challenging moments in the newborn stage to expand me and grow as a person. That makes those, you know, challenging moments, it kind of gives them a different light, right? It gives you your power back in those moments and you might even get like a thrill or an enjoyment from allowing those feelings to pour through. Maybe not in the exact moment, although maybe, but afterwards, like this relief and just this power in knowing that you can do that, right? And if you can do it on day three, if other waves come up in the next few weeks, which it's like so normal, like there is so much change happening, so much within our bodies and just in our life, If you can treat those moments in that way, you are so, you are in such a place of empowerment, right? And so that is in the My Light and Motherhood course, actually. Check it out. I'll link it in my show notes. It, that's like one of many modules is around mastering your emotions and getting comfortable with them in pregnancy. And I have super tangible strategies for you throughout the course, actually for each of the modules in there, I would encourage you to look through them because mastering your emotions is just an incredible skill that's going to help you through the newborn stage. And there are things that you can start doing in pregnancy now to prepare for that. And just, yeah, even that so many of them are actually quite simple, but they're laid out in a way that's meant to be simple because you are in this new stage of life where you don't want to have 10 steps of something to remember, right? And the point, the whole point of anchoring certain things in in pregnancy is that they're second nature by the time you have your baby. So you're not going to be like, what were the three steps that Emma said? No, no. You, it's just part of life to be that aware and have that level of comfort and self-connection already established so that there isn't added, you're not adding on to the mental load in the newborn stage. You're actually coming from this place of like, oh, this is happening and I know what to do and I'm recognizing it, right? And enjoying the newborn stage can look like that in the challenging moments. So imagine what it can look like in the other moments. So let me paint you a picture of that too, okay? So you have a visual to anchor into. You are sitting on your couch with your new baby. You are looking at them and just staring at their cute little faces and you can, like, you just want to pinch yourself. You have waited for this and now you are seeing what they actually look like. You get to touch them, you got to, you know, hold their like cute soft little hands. You're like looking at their teeny tiny fingernails and you're like, oh my gosh, how did I make, how did, how did I make someone that was this precious and perfect? And you're just, it's like time stops because you are so in the moment. You are noticing the teeniest little details. You're noticing, you know, 
their little hands, the little the little lines in their hands, and you're like, oh my gosh, like how do, how do these like tiny little babies have like it's just they're just so uniquely them and they just like the details of their skin, right? Like the details of what it looks like, feels like, and you are just in it with them. And you just feel totally calm and at ease and at peace with this moment and this just wave of gratitude pours over your whole body and you just notice that that feeling is there and you are just so grateful for how you are feeling right now that you get to experience this moment and you just feel so lucky so lucky to be in this moment with them you're able to do this a because you've been looking forward to this and you recognize and you don't take for granted you don't take lightly what this precious moment means to you this is what you've been waiting for and these are the moments that you want to soak in it's almost like you want to like encode them in your body so you remember them forever so that some piece this moment is so good you want to keep a piece of it with you forever and so you're just like noticing all of the things soaking it in as much as you can and this is what enjoying the newborn stage can look like and I feel like no matter no matter what you're going through, no matter what challenges pop up, if you can make time for things like this every day, you are going to feel like you were there for it, right? So I hope that even takes some of the pressure off in terms of what being there for it looks like when you are a mother, because you will notice they change so quickly especially in the early days it's like crazy they change from like day to day sometimes and you'll hear so many people say you know soak it in like they change so fast enjoy every second and the every second piece isn't actually it's physically impossible with the way our human brains work okay our human brains and our world is not set up to be present for every single second so I hope you just give yourself some grace if you're ever feeling like you're not soaking in every single second because remember it's not actually possible so you're you don't want to aim for perfection here you want to give yourself grace and that allows you to enjoy the newborn period too right but if you can anchor into those moments of presence and just feel that feel into that you are going to enjoy the newborn period so so much those are some of the ways you can enjoy the newborn period. I hope I gave you a solid example of how you can enjoy even what people think of the challenges, but also how you can enjoy the moments that you're thinking of when you're thinking of enjoying this time, right? And I hope for you that if it's your goal to create some space around the newborn period, so you can just pour your time and energy into taking amazing care of your baby, getting to know them, sell in and enjoy this time you've been waiting for and nurture yourself through it. I am all about that and I I just love love it for you if that is your goal and I hope that you get that. You know, I hope I hope that that is how it is for you. You know, when I created the My Lighter Motherhood course, I had all the facets of the newborn stage that the pieces that tend to either come up as challenges and also the pieces we want to enjoy, and then the underlying pieces that we need to set ourselves up to actually be able to thrive through it. And that is exactly what this program was designed to do and sets you up with it sets you up to enjoy and face and be resilient 
through the emotions. It sets you up so that when you wake up, maybe for the fifth time in the night and it's only 2 a.m., when like that feeling of dread hits you or when you're like, oh God, like please no, not again. It's like you have the mindset, the beliefs to shift into, to feel actually like you're coming from a place of power in that moment, to come from even a place of gratitude for it and to raise your vibration up right? And I have really tangible like beliefs, skills, and strategies in this course to help you anchor into those things in those points in time. And if your goal is to create space around this time, to enjoy it, to soak it in, there are things you can do in pregnancy for that too. Like there are actually specific boundaries you can set in this time. There are certain self-love practices. We have like a whole section around self-love in the program because it's it's something I actually like very rarely hear talked about in pregnancy I hear it talked I hear self-love kind of like preached or like taught more to mothers with older children but I feel like anchoring this in in pregnancy is just pure gold and there are so many ways you can actually anchor in self-love specific to pregnancy to set yourself up to thrive in the newborn stage and then Another key piece is like probably this is your biggest life change or up there, right up there at the top. And fear of the unknown is actually one of our human fears that we fear the most. And so there is also some amazingness in there to help you thrive through the unknown, to reduce some of the mystery around some of the unknowns that can happen in early motherhood and set yourself up for that too so you know how I talked about like day three with the emotions like there are specific things in the course like that just to get your mind um, on board with what to expect in this time so you're not blindsided you feel like you're in the know and you feel less alone in those moments and you also just the most important piece is you feel empowered about how to respond to those moments so you're not just like frantically reacting to them but you're responding to them from this calm grounded place so there is more in the course beyond that but it is truly designed for the pregnant mom to soak in soak it in at your own pace there are videos in there that are pre-recorded in every module that you would have instant access to upon signing up and this is like your permission slip like this is the course you don't have to do perfectly you don't have to finish everything practice every single thing it is meant for you to go through it as much as feels amazing and supportive to you to you during pregnancy so that you do set yourself up for success to thrive not just in the newborn stage but actually everything that is in here applies for years into your motherhood journey like for example I have a three and a half year old I use these strategies the strategies especially in modules one and two I use them every single day, multiple times a day. Like these things are going to, this investment in yourself will benefit you for years. And like the ripple effect of it just like gets me in my heart because I'm like, wow, like the ripple effect of this is, you know, now my children are seeing me in moments of challenges, moments where it's stressful. They are seeing me they are seeing me and how I respond to it and they are learning for themselves how to be resilient in the face of emotions, in the face of change, right? And that's like the ripple effect of this whole thing. But I know that's getting way down the road. But if you like to think of like the bigger picture and you're like, oh, like, do I really invest in this like just specific time of my life? Just know that I believe when you invest in yourself, especially when you make aligned choices and follow your intuition, choose the supports that are aligned with you, supportive to you along the way, right? Like I wouldn't want someone to take this course if if they didn't align with it or feel like oh, they just should. Like if this is a desire and you feel like it can help you, if you 
even align with what I'm saying that maybe the values that I have around this time if you want your newborn period to look like how I've described like that just might be your intuition speaking with you and if you're someone who values having you know a circle of supports around you to boost your mood boost your mental health boost your energy and just enjoy things a little bit right like things also don't have to be so serious and like and allowing in some supports to help make things fun is also amazing and I feel like that's what this course does it's like the deeper stuff the inner work the pieces that will help your mood your energy your health um but it's also fun right it's also so fun and it's like such a supportive space for you so even though the modules so the modules are self-paced because I feel like also many of you there are videos but you don't necessarily need to look at the screen you can treat it like a podcast so if you're someone like me who loves well you're listening to this podcast so if you you do love podcasts or at least enjoy them enough to listen to this episode um treat it like a podcast right listen listen as you go into work listen to the videos let things soak in um you know as you're nesting especially if you're in your third trimester the nesting mode might be hitting you hard maybe it's hitting you earlier um listen as you're like cleaning out a closet or organizing that random spot in your house that you have in the back of your mind right like listen that way take it in in a way that suits your life if you if you walk a dog every day like do as you're walking your dog like you will know the best times but just giving you some suggestions because there are ways that you can fit this into your already full life during pregnancy and it truly is the best time and you're not just alone or like left out in the dark when you sign up for this program it's more than just a self-based course you have access to me for six months which is actually really incredible and rare I would say like kind of unheard of because think about where you'll be six months from now chances are you'll have your baby already right and I would actually encourage you to time this course time your enrollment into it when you'll get to have the first you know two or three months still together within that six month time and maybe even beyond, right? Like people think of the newborn stage, you might think of like the first six or eight weeks, but really there are always changes happening in motherhood. So even if you're later in your pregnancy, having that support during pregnancy and then into postpartum is just like such a beautiful wraparound way for you to be able to receive guidance specific to your exact stage of the game right so every month we have a call where everyone in the group is invited and right now it right now it's a new course right so right now you are going to have more access to me and more personalized guidance so I feel like it's such a beautiful also powerful time to get in because I'm also so excited about this and I will be so excited to support you. And so to those calls, you can bring up what is what is coming up for you from the material. You can ask questions about it. You can ask, you know, me for guidance about, okay, I'm in this specific stage. Like, what do you think I could focus on right now to get the most out of out of this exact stage Um, maybe you have a specific life situation or like family circumstance or something and you're like okay I'm gonna be dealing with this like how can I get my mindset on board what can I do now to actually enjoy it given this unique circumstance that I'm in right like really there is like very little off the table and I am so ethics are important to me and I do not give medical advice, right? So if I ever feel like things are going out of scope, I will always refer you to the right type of professional. Um, But also something I'm planning on doing is having people in every month, experts on different topic areas to um, align with what is coming up. So like maybe I'll bring in like a lactation consultant if that particular month there's a lot of questions around breastfeeding. I'll bring in a pelvic pelvic floor physiotherapist to know like what you need to know now in pregnancy to 
prep for that aspect of things, especially if you get have like a vaginal birth, but even if you have a C-section, right? Like there are different rehab things you would want to do. Like I'm going to have guest experts in and um, do it based on also your needs and the group needs. So every month you'll have a call with me where we'll go through what is coming up for you, what the what the course material is coming up for you. I will help you personalize and envision your ideal motherhood and help you get set up so that whatever you know limiting beliefs come up maybe there are some blocks that you aren't even aware of that you get to start rewiring and unpacking now so that you're setting yourself up for the most success like those are the kinds of things we will go through in our monthly calls and then I know that things can pop up at any time of pregnancy and any time of the postpartum stage. So you'll also have access to me through the group where you can like type and ask questions and I will respond to you, right? So it is just like such a beautiful container program way for you to have support in a way that feels really good for you and you can use as much or as little of it as you want and it's all just set up to help you thrive through this amazing time that you want to thrive through and be able to look back on it and just know you were here for it know you took all the beauty from it and enjoyed it so that is that is what I'm here for and if you want personalized support with me as well added on to that There's information about that on the course page as well, but always happy to chat with you and yeah, connect with you because I feel like those one-on-one sessions that we can do together throughout your pregnancy and into postpartum are really amazing for the things that maybe you wouldn't want to share in a group or you just want that one-on-one support to really drill down to your specifics and sometimes that back and forth conversation is the best way to do that, right? So then it's not yeah it's just like all concentrated all geared around you and supporting you and your exact situation so that is a really beautiful option as well but I hope today's episode gave you some ideas of and some specific visions to start feeling into about how you can thrive through the newborn stage because even if it's your first time going through this you've never experienced it before you can enjoy it and you can set yourself up to have the mindset, the beliefs and the vision and the support and just like your own self-connectedness, your own connection with your intuition to help you thrive through it. If you are pregnant right now, I have something incredible for you to help you envision your empowered motherhood. It is a guidebook where you are the author because you get to write your own story. I feel like it's so powerful when you're in pregnancy to envision motherhood and what you want it to look like, how you want it to look and feel for yourself, right? Because from that place, when we have that clarity or just that idea, right? Even that idea of that feeling that you want to get or like the main the main pieces that you're excited about when it comes to motherhood, when you start to have clarity on those things, it kind of sets the tone for what you want to happen, how you want to feel, and what the whole journey gets to look like for you. And I feel like those types of things are so amazing to anchor into in the challenging moments. So I love to, you know, encourage moms to think about this in pregnancy, like envision your empowered motherhood in pregnancy and set yourself up for success in the newborn stage and beyond. And this is all by tapping into you. So this guidebook includes five expansive questions for you to tap into yourself to pull out from your higher self what your empowered motherhood looks like and starting in pregnancy, right? So go to the show notes, click the download, it's completely free, and you will receive the guidebook in your email. 
Thank you so, so much for listening. I would love to hear how you felt inspired in today's episode. Let me know at my light away on Instagram. And to help me expand the ripple effect of this podcast even more, please subscribe, leave a rating and review, or share it with a friend who loves self-development too. Thanks, my loves. I can't wait to hear from you.